brought to you by GTA. We start with you. When we initiated the coronavirus, it was because CDC required us to be able to ship it to them to Atlanta, Georgia. That has all changed now since they finally developed the kit and they have given the kit to certain states and Guam was included as one of those states. She says the kits are in great demand across the country and Guam was fortunate to get one. It didn't hurt that DeNorsi has connected with two top CDC officials who have also visited Guam. Because we're in a very strategic location and Guam being a territory of the United States, we're very fortunate to have it. And Dr. Jose Montero did visit Guam and so did Bill Gallo. So I had a very good relationship with them. Also, when I went to Atlanta, Georgia, I met them personally. DeNorsi says lab equipment that's needed in order to use the lab kits are also ready. That machine has already been recalibrated as of yesterday. Thermal Fisher confirmed everything was good to go, and so the machine is ready to operate. But Dr. Vince Akamoto, who hosted a public health briefing at his American Medical Clinic in Manila, was concerned that the machines may have been down for months, and DeNorsi had to tap other connections in the industry to get them fixed. We're supposed to be a sentinel laboratory. We're supposed to but they've been broken and the reagents haven't been ordered and, and public health has done a terrible job of maintaining very expensive uh, pieces of very sophisticated molecular biology equipment. But DeNorsi says they were disconnected when a fire shut down public health's main lab in Mangilao indefinitely. They were just turned off and then we wanted to preserve them so we had them immediately transferred out of the public health and placed in, in one of the vendor's location till we can move to our new space. Akimoto says another concern is the lack of data collection on influenza in general. He provided copies of weekly U.S. influenza reports that don't show any Guam information. One of the real infuriating things about this is that influenza virus, which kills maybe more people than coronavirus on any given day, uh, we are not testing for. The, the only people testing for it are labs like ours. The flu data is important, he says, quote, you can't fight what you can't see. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.